last vid for tonight. So this is an about me vid. If you've never seen this playlist, this is where I delve into a lot of deep shit and emotional shit and personal shit. So it's a lot of shit with different labels attached. So what's this video about? Me and Bella. Um, we're currently on a break. And it's not bad. It's not bad. There's nothing negative that happened between us. She, we've been on autopilot for a while since her mom got sick and then she, her mom died and passed. And I mean, it's been rough. Um, it, it's been more rough on her than me, and it, I mean it's been both. It's like. He, it's 50-50, but she wanted to vid chat me this past, when was that, Monday, I think? Yeah, yeah, it was early Tuesday, or yeah, yeah, early Tuesday morning, actually. So, yeah, Monday and Tuesday. And we talked, and she was crying. Because we've hit the part in our relationship where we're just friends. And that hurts. Yeah, it really hurts. It does hurt. Because, you know, we've been... We've been so close and shit and always keeping in touch and flirting and good morning texts, good night texts, all that shit. Vid chatting, all that. It's, it's been amazing. And she's been so wrapped up in work and well she's throwing herself into her work you know i'm not this is not me knocking her at all this is just you know what she's doing you know she's throwing herself into her work she's also promoting her new book that i bought um and she's just she's focused on that and she's you know distanced herself from us and I've done the same thing with us. You know, I focused on the gym. I focused on, you know, sitting outside and tanning and listening to my music and gaming. So, yeah, I've been on autopilot. You know, we autopiloted the whole fucking thing for a long time. And, you know, I'm proud of her for acknowledging that we're at the friendship stage. Because if you've ever hit the stage... And, or, yeah, if you've hit the stage and you don't know what to do next and you just stay and you don't acknowledge it, the next thing you do is you start sniping at each other and just getting very toxic towards each other and shit. And I'm glad she acknowledged it because if she hadn't or I hadn't, we would be fighting. And I don't like, I hate fucking fighting. Oh, I hate it. Because there's nothing more draining than a fucking fight. It just, it really isn't. Oh, no, it's rewarding. You had to make up sex after. Don't give a flying fuck about makeup sex. <laughs> I don't want, I don't like negative energy. I hate negativity. It, it drains the fuck out of me. Ugh. So, what does it mean for me and her to be on a break? We're still talking. We're still keeping in touch. We're still going to vid chat and whatnot. We're just not... We're building back to where we were before the, all this shit happened. And it's been hard. It's really difficult. Like, I miss us. I miss her. Like, in the beginning, like, we could not stop keeping our hands off each other and shit. Astrally, that is. Because we haven't met yet. And money is another issue, too. And, you know, I told her, it's like, we're gonna get there. We'll get to where we're supposed to be. It's gonna take time. And she's upset because it's gonna take so much time to get there. And, no, this is not gonna be one of those videos where, you know... If it was one of those videos where somebody's like, I'm going to throw in some inspirational music in the background. Like, here's my GoFundMe and my Kickstarter and my Patreon. Donate to me and her so we can meet, finally. I ain't like that. I'm not out. I'm not going to beg for shit. I'm not that type of person. Hell no. I'm a penny pincher. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mm. 
I'm like, no, I, no. I'm not like that. I'm really not. No. But I do. <laughs> no, I don't. Fuck that. Um, no. No, it's just, it's going to take a long, it's going to take longer than we thought to actually meet. Just from circumstances, because she had to, you know, deal with her mom's death and the expenses that follow with that. It sucks. It was an unforeseen event that happened, you know, and I, f I feel for her. I really, truly do. And I love this woman to death. And, you know, it hurts on both sides of it. Like, it's affected us every which way possible. Like, today, my sex drive took a fucking toll. It just went, <laughs> just completely broke down, like, fuck so yeah and it's just it's rough and you know this is my this is my um now i gotta think because i've had a lot of long distance relationships <sighs> um this is probably my second long distance relationship i think and this is her f first maybe i don't know i have no clue um and it's it's rough because she wants to be here for me she wants to be by my side and do all the things that couples do when they're together and it sucks that we can't do that yet because of expenses and we're on autopilot. We're going back to the normal. Well, our sense of normal. But, you know, like going back, what does it mean? Like, are we going to see each other or see other people? I don't know. I don't want to. Um, but, you know, fate can play a hand in that shit. Never know. I'm not looking for anybody. Fuck no. I don't feel like it. Too much work. Way too much work. Holy fuck. Ugh. <laughs> it's way too much. Will she look for somebody? I don't know. I have no clue. She might find some... I don't know. She might marry the damn dog. <laughs> and then I gotta fight over that shit. Like, great. Now I have to compete with a fucking dog. <laughs> but no. I just... It sucks. Because relationships are a real test for two people to go through. Uh, somebody at the bar. Car. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy for either one of us. Like, for me, basically, if I want to summarize this, it's basically my first real long-distance relationship with somebody I actually fucking love and care about. And it's also the first time that, you know, I found somebody, I have somebody that's worth fighting for. Ain't that some shit? Like, most people are like, oh, they're the best person ever, and then go suck some other dude's dick. <laughs> Just saying. <sighs> like, oh, I'll never leave this person. I'll never leave them. And go fuck somebody else. Like, Who are you playing? Why the fuck you lying? Oh, God. Mm. But, yeah, so we're going to focus on our goals that we have set and keep in touch and hopefully get back to square one because it sucks right now. It's so hard. So, so hard. Because I'm, I'm seeing the pain... In her eyes, that hurts a lot. And knowing that, is it fucking raining? Okay, no, it's not. I got laundry on the fucking line. It better not goddamn rain. <sighs> like I like fresh smelling clothes. I don't want no goddamn rain. Anyway. 
I just hope we get back to normal. Our sense of normal. And it's it just it's so hard because we can only do so much with so little. But at least technology's good for one thing, which is vid chats. And I hate technology. No, oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. But it's connected me to her and she's connected to me and it's a beautiful thing. And I like that. I really, really do. It's nice to have that connection. It just sucks that it's a 16-hour time difference. <sighs> but I'm used to time difference because I've had, I've had many friends that were either an hour behind me, two hours, three hours, five hours, or seven hours ahead of me. And now I have her who's 16. What a pain in the balls it is. <sighs> Brother. But yeah, so that's my current dilemma that I'm going through. <sighs> you know, it's like we resolved the shit, so we're, you know, we're focused and we're doing what we do best. <sighs> and I even, I, I, and I even asked her, I was like, are you sure? Would this make it easier on you so you wouldn't be stressed out? And she's like, maybe. So, you know, she's she's swamped with schoolwork because this is the busiest time of year for her. So, yeah. And I check in on her, even when she don't message. Because, you know, that's what I do. I give a flying fuck. I care. I put my energy into her, and it's worth it. A lot of people, I wasted so so oh, much energy on. And man, I'll never get that shit back. But, oh well. So, yeah. And then writing that poem for Jess today, that felt good. That was a good catharsis for me. That helped. So, no. Still working on getting over the bitch. I'll get there. It's going to be a process. <sighs> Whatever. It's just crazy. It's like, how can someone be that hot but so immature? But not, it's not even about the goddamn looks. It's just fucking like... You helped me, but you can't be immature, you can't be immature enough to say you're welcome. Uh, how's home life? Home life is... <laughs> same shit, different day. <laughs> oh, what's the newest argument with Beck? <laughs> Electricity. <laughs> You're wasting the electric bill. It's $300. I'm like, that's not my problem. You're the one running the fucking fan in the kitchen. Hours on end and no one's out there. <sighs> She's such a cunt. Mmm. <laughs> So, yeah. Fun. I'm shaving this shit because uh, I can't stand it. Ooh, it's irritating me. Have I been doing good mentally? I guess. I'm, I'm hanging in there. I haven't, like, spiraled or anything. I haven't picked it myself. Normally, I would be at home, oh, man. <sighs> Let's see. If this was last decade, with these circumstances, <sighs> I would have scab. I would have scabs from that shoulder to this shoulder. Oh yeah, uh, some shit down my arms. My left thigh would be bleeding like a motherfucker because I have a whole patchwork there of scabs that have, you know, completely healed up and shit. Um, what else? Oh, Psycho obsessing and <laughs> all that jazz. But no, now I have conflict resolution, I analyze the shit, and I deal with it like a normal fucking person should. Thank you, Josh, my former therapist, for narrative therapy. 
That shit, I recommend that shit. I really fucking do. If you got shit going on and you are stuck in a doom cycle and you just don't want to, you need to figure your shit out, get near to therapy. It will help you. Ooh, man. It might help you, it might not. It depends on what the fuck you got going on. What your damage is and shit. <sighs> Have I been happy lately hmm well a little bit watching boys has been nice i like the boys good shit it's funny as that uh, i love billy he's so goddamn funny <laughs> definitely yeah i'm definitely gonna do that i'm gonna message him and see if he'll wish me a happy birthday next month because fuck i love carl's voice and I just want to say happy birthday, you cunt. <laughs> I gotta have that. So, we'll see. Um, have I cried lately? Yeah. Cried watching Heart and Souls. Uh, have I beat on myself? Fuck no. Nope, I'm doing good. I have not beat on myself. I feel good about that. <laughs> really do Whew. um am i still scared of the future yeah definitely scared of the fucking future of christ um what am i excited for hopefully the movies next month uh Oh, that's right. Jess did drive by yesterday, and I didn't blush. Happy about that shit, like, fucking finally. Oh, thank Christ. That's over with. <laughs> Slow baby steps, man. Small Fucking goddamn baby steps. Oh, thank Christ. <sighs> yeah. What else? Um, how's my sleep been fucked up? It's always fucked up. <laughs> oh, man, my sleep is always, always fucked up. I try to get it back to normal, and eh, it's so hard. But on the upside of things, I have changed my dosage on my calcium pills that I take. I was doing 1,200, now I'm doing 24. Because when I was doing 12, like I was just like... Hmm. And now that I've doubled it, I feel good. Like I actually feel productive. I feel more energetic, honestly. Like... What was that, Wednesday or Tuesday? I think it was... Yeah, it was when, yeah, Wednesday I had tanned for like an hour. Didn't get much tan. Well, I got a little bit like... This is a lot darker. It looks brighter, but it's actually a little bit more darker. Um, And like I was sitting in the heat. And I was like... Ugh. And then I went out back, tanned, and got up, and I felt energetic as hell. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. It's strange. I feel good. Like, I'm much more aware and alert and shit. So, that's good. Um, has anyone come by to see me? Unfortunately, stop by and see me, like, hang out for more than... Two minutes in traffic? No, no one. Uh, but Tanya and Trevor and Garrett. Trevor and Garrett are brothers. They're fucking... I love them so much. Uh, when they see me, they actually make an effort to stop by when there's no traffic. And just you know say hi and ask me how I've been doing. Tanya has made it a habit to stop by and do the same thing and see how I'm doing and whatnot. Which is nice. I wish more people did that instead of just, you know, driving by like, Beep beep! Like, I can't see you, bitch. You got tinted windows. 
<sighs> Don't you hate motherfuckers like that? Tinted windows all around there honking their horn at you. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know you. Put a window down so I can identify your ass. Fuck. Have to memorize your license plate and get the cops to help me. Fuck. That's a fun trait I have. I can memorize license plate numbers sometimes. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Hmm. How's my thought process been? Nothing but goddamn Walter Mitty, Jess Brown scenarios. Ugh, can't stand them. Fucking annoying. It's like, Jesus Christ, I can run the same scenario 500 different ways and it's the same fucking results. Like, give me a break. Fuck. Ugh. But, I'm good. I'm here. I'm alive. I can only control what is within my bubble. I can't control her ass. I can't make her do anything. I'm done. There's no point in going back to that immature cunt. <sighs> what would you do if she actually wanted to talk? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Part of me is like, kick her right in the fucking cunt and walk away. <laughs> I, mm, it's a tempting, tempting thing to do. Very tempting. Because <sighs> there are so many ways I could run that shit. I could kick her, walk away, or I could insult her hardly, very deeply, cut very deep. But I'm not that person anymore. I took the high road, made my poem, I'm done. It's fucking done. Will I ever write Star Wars again? I don't know. Because she was so intricate. She was so... She was such an integral part of that story. <sighs> so that's hard to divorce her from that in my head. That's a hard thing to do. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, fuck. And now I feel better. Oh. It's good to vent like this. It helps a lot. It really fucking does. <sighs> Will I ever see a therapist again? <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm supposed to be. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> we good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm talking like a fucking Borg. I'm good. I don't need a goddamn therapist. I'm fine. I'm peachy. I'm great. I'm dealing with my shit. <laughs> um, is Beck gonna see a therapist? She's supposed to be. <laughs> Grain of salt on that. <laughs> Um, I think it's about it. I ain't got nothing else in the tank. I'm empty, man. <laughs> Goddamn gas. <laughs> Shit. Uh, so that is this video. <laughs> That's one. So, I'm going to get off of here, upload this piece of shit, so you can enjoy it later. Um, yeah, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I don't remember what that was, but I'm going to do it. Now I remember. I'm going to look after my Bella. I'm going to focus on the gym, my tan. Maybe try to write. It's hard, though. It's really hard. Uh, I mean, I am glad I wrote that poem. Like, I really am. Like, that's the first solid thing I've written since three weeks ago. So, it's, it's something. Right? I guess. Um... Mm. I got another video I want to do, but I, I ain't ready for all that yet. 
I'll do it eventually. Um, yeah, so, anyway, till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.